Day in, day out. 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 Day. Especially kids over in Africa that um, are affected by this disease every single day and um, it's something that we can hopefully eradicate um, with all the work that's going into it. I mean we, we, we walked out of there like little kids you know and, um, and I've known for, for, for nine years now. Understanding of what needs to be said and and what uh, gets us going. So the coaches obviously have a good barometer for. <laughs> How did you manage to still hit him? <laughs> With the water? I got the water. You see that? You see that aim? Your accuracy is impressive. Ah. Oh my God. This is. He's feeling it. How hot was Steph watching this after the game, Draymond Green getting that water to dump on the MVP? But Curry knocks the water out of his hand with an old tail toss. And look at the grin. Man, it is good to be Steph Curry. New organizer out of the Harlem campus of the City Colleges in New York. You got to have your elbow in a little bit. Okay. All right, release. Make, make sure it's on your fingertips. Maybe I should shoot lefty. You can try that. I got one shot at this. Oh, yeah. oh. oh man. Yeah. That's what I'm talking that's about. That's what I'm science. talking about. That's science right there. I'm really proud of you, man. <laughs> uh, so that's a wonderful volcano. Thank you, man. You don't need all the time in the world or all the answers to be the mentor someone needs. And you don't need to be an NBA star or the president of the United States to be someone's hero. For Complex News, I'm Sean Evans, spending some off-season time with Steph Curry on a golf course in San Francisco. One week, you're with the President of the United States. Next week, you're helping me on my drive. It's kind of a fall from grace for you. <laughs> nah, man, all, all good experiences in the summer. Uh, it's been fun. When you share a golf what sorts of things do you guys talk about? Because I know he... Because I know he's a big basketball fan, so he was probably curious about some things. From your perspective, he's the president, you probably have like a million things to talk about. What did you guys discuss? Talk about everything, man. You can, it's crazy how many topics you can cover in four and a half hours. But like you said, he's a big sports fan. He wanted to know the ins and outs of you know our season and how Coach Kerr is and my teammates and all that. I was really curious as, you know, just with the presidency and his term was, you know, for the experience is what he expected. What did he say? He said it, it was. I mean, nothing's easy about his job, obviously. He loves making tough decisions and making educated decisions, just living with the result, uh, knowing he's not going to please everybody. But uh, I think the, the thing I was interested in is kind of what he was going to do after his, his term, because obviously he can't just go back to being a civilian anymore. He's always going to be, you know, president or former president of the United States. So I say he wants to travel and do some, some fun stuff. So I don't know. 